Hi, I'm Mark Lox, Extension Weed Scientist with the Ohio State University. I'm standing in one of our research plots at the Western Ag Research Station in South Charleston. Um, and this is a plot we happen to see some pre-emergence herbicide injury uh, this year based on the way that we apply the herbicide and the type of rainfall pattern that we had. So I thought it'd be uh, good to maybe show you some of these injury symptoms so you knew what you were looking for. Um, we know that certain pre-emergence herbicides in soybeans can cause injury. There's typically three that uh, are most likely to do this. Metribuzin, of course, historically on coarse soils uh, or possibly at too high a rate can cause some uh, early season burn on soybeans. Uh, we know that products that contain Clemuron, like Canopy, uh, Valor XLT, Authority XL, Clemuron under high rainfall conditions can occasionally cause some early season stunning of soybeans that they usually uh, grow out of. And most of the injury that we do see early season on soybeans, they grow out of, and it's been really difficult for us to pick up any type of a yield loss. Uh, the plot I'm standing in here had various uh, applications of Flumioxacin or Valor. Um, and we just happen to have the, the type of environmental conditions and application uh, type that gave us some um, soybean injury uh, this year. So, you know, we use a lot of Valor products and a lot of most of the rest of our pre-emergence products and beans are typically applied in no-till um, before planting with some 2,4-D. And most of them, rarely because of that, we're less likely to see uh, injury from them. Um, in this particular case, uh, this is a conventional till soybean field. Herbicides were applied right after we planted, and then we had uh, rain several days later, and everything sort of popped out of the ground pretty fast. And one of the things about the, uh, all the products that contain Plumiox is in our Valor. Um, the label says a couple things. It says not to incorporate the herbicide, and it also says to apply the herbicide before uh, three days after planting. And the whole goal of that is try to avoid a situation where the beans are coming up, and then you get a rain, and you get splash up. Um, of herbicide that causes injury to the soybean. So that's kind of what happened in this uh, particular situation where we planted, had a rain several days later, um, beans came out of the ground pretty fast, and we did have some injury. We've seen this occasionally at Western Branch from Valor Products. Um, it, it can look fairly severe easy, early season where we rate it, you know, up to a 25% injury or so, and it typically does grow out of it um, later. So I'm standing in a plot that had some uh, valor on it and you know pointing out some of the symptoms here you see some stunning typically when we see injury from Plumioxacin on soybeans we're going to see some distortion and we're going to see something that looks uh, like this with distortion um, stunning some kind of uh, funky growth a little bit and then you can also see some burning um, of the leaf tissue so again this is something we do not typically see with valor products when they're applied early before planting and they get some rain on them and then we plant the beans uh, in that field. But in a situation where you have sort of everything happening at the same time, some rain, beans popping out of the ground, herbicide applied not too long before that, you can see this type of injury. So um, if, you can, if you can see the plots here, it's a little bit difficult to see uh, because of the uh, weeds that have come up in this. And obviously this is a study where we have some pre-products and then we have some post uh, treatments as well. But if you uh, try to get a handle on some differences in beans. This is a, a plot um, that didn't have quite a severe injury, but you can see, for example, here's a, a soybean plant that looks unaffected um, in, a, in a plot that didn't, didn't receive uh, the flumioxacin. And then you can see down here um, the type of injury that we're seeing. So here's some of the more severe case where it's uh, sort of sealed up and just not growing very well. This is some of the more severe injury we have seen with Fumioxazin. Um, and again, because uh, like most growers, most of our pre-herbicides and soybeans are applied before planting, but we do some uh, just weed control efficacy trials where we do conventional till and apply herbicides at planting as well, and we occasionally do see this. What's a little bit interesting here um, is that Valor or Fumioxazin has the same mode of action uh, as authority products or sulfentrazone, and we do have sulfentrazone treatment in here, and it is not showing that same type of damage. So, um, you know, it's difficult to say. We, we have probably more often seen, this is the flumioxazin treatment, we have probably more typically seen, um, when we see this type of damage, it seems to be more likely here on the research farm uh, with Valor compared to authority. Um, and again, we'll track these beans and maybe do another video later, but just showing you some of the type of symptoms you can see under those circumstances. Um, when again, typically herbicides applied at or just after planting and we have sort of 
everything sort of happening at the same time, a rainfall in there and beans popping out of the ground and some splash up and that type of a thing going on.